What's going on? You know how we do. We're going to hear a little bit and then review. Changed it where... I'm not going to lie, Tekken's way too sweaty. I have like that, that CD. That's debatable. That's debatable. Uh, I think Tekken 8, as much as I like it, I think it needs... First of all, they got to clean up the net code. Two, the more I play it, it's got some serious balancing issues. One of my biggest issues with the game is it's way too aggressive. There are way too much. There's not only if you're gonna okay. Appreciate the follow, you disgusting black creature. Shout out to you for following. If I could talk to the developers, the first thing I would say that needs to be nerfed, the tracking in the game. I'm tired of sidestepping the fuck out of people and somebody's mashing the controller, especially if you're gonna make the game masher. You're mashing the controller. You sidestep someone. They totally miss, but then the camera shifts the arm back to hit you in the fucking head. Here's what I'll say. No, not all moves are sidesteppable. Some moves are homing moves. So it's not the fact that you didn't sidestep, but some of the moves are going to hit you. And some of those moves have to have preemptive sidesteps. And then it has to be sidestepped a, sp a specific way based on the attack. But I'm not saying that sidestep ain't really as functional. Now, what I will say is they should probably remove the homing moves. And I think that would fix that problem. The moves that don't just track I think just removing tracking moves in general will give a lot of help to that situation. That's got to go. That's got to go. Too much tracking in the game. And then it's too mashy. Um, and then there's no repercussions for people who rage quit. So like when you say it's too sweaty, that's debatable. It's a lot of frauds in ranked, bro. It's a lot of people with fraudulent ranks. People that I be beaten with three ranks higher than me. I'm like, bro, you should be washing me. But you beat them because your fundamentals are stronger and niggas be fucking rage quitting their way to the top of rank. Yo, you can't even react to 80% of the shit in the game. I used to play when it feels more aggressive than that shit. Yeah, especially with like like slower characters. It's like it's um the sidestepping is way better. Yeah, exactly. That's why I love Soul Calibur. When you sidestep somebody, you would fuck them up. In this game, in Tekken 8, no. Listen, man. I hate the rage art mechanic. If they're gonna keep that in the if they're gonna keep that in the game, rewarding people for getting fucked up. I, I already don't like that. In Street Fighter, you have to earn your super moves. You do good things, you get rewarded. You get fucked up in Tekken, you get rewarded. If they're going to keep that in the game, I think you should have to earn your heat bar. But everybody starts with a heat bar. So not only so you basically have two special moves. You have a special move at the start of the game, and then you get a special move if you're getting fucked up. Oh, yeah. Now, here's what I'm going to say. That is a do or die move. That that rage art is not as OP as y'all think it is. When you get to the high ranks, you don't even use it no more. People don't use it no more because it's too risky. It's not worth the risk. That's what I'm saying. So, like, the rage art, I get it. I understand a last stand kind of a move. They even got last stand in Call of Duty. It's a last stand. Trust me when I tell you, that move is not that effective. When you get to a certain rank, people do not use it anymore. Now, as a side note, when they link it into a combo, that's when it's devastating. That's when it's devastating. When they already got you in a combo, then they catch you with a rage art. So not only did they just hit you for 15, 20 percent, then they hit you with the rage art. Yeah. Then. But see, they even nerf it, too, though. So whenever you take off 20, 30 percent, they don't they don't allow you to go into the rage art for an insta kill for almost 50 percent. They actually nerf the damage of the rage art. Now, the rage art isn't a huge problem because it's very easy to block so if you mess around and you whip that you're instantly dead you're instantly dead if you whip it so it's very punishable and i like to actually bait people to use it people they do not use it after when you get to them red ranks they do not use it no more and honestly i can't even recall the last time i've been hit by a rage art and i've been playing for like a week and i have not been hit by one so <laughs> hey I get it. I know people may be irritated with it, but that that ain't really a, a conflict. However, now let's discuss that heat bar. Now that heat bar that need they need to figure out something with the heat, and they also need to remove the auto combos because now that I don't agree with because LTG is always complaining about it. And I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna be fair here. I love the trolling, but I'm gonna be honest. You shouldn't have an auto combo and a rage art and you should have to earn it and it should be harder to use. Like it needs to be a QA like Street Fighter to be able to cue that move. It shouldn't be something that you could just push one button and then boom, 20, 30 percent. I do. I do have to agree on that. And you need to have to earn that bar. I don't like that. Why is um, Yo, this a wake up rage art? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Now, if you get hit by a wake up rage art, that's your fault. 
you were swinging too wild and you got caught slipping. You shouldn't have been swinging like that. If you did not have a confirmed combo, you should not be swinging while they're on the ground. Uh, there, obviously, you saw just. I've hated Rage there. Art since Tekken 7. It, you know, it's, it's such a scrub ass like mechanic. And the, the window of it is actually still pretty darn good. They also added something new. Uh, I don't know. That Rage Art where you throw a jab and get caught is crazy. That's the thing, though. Once they have that Rage Art available, you can't throw power attacks no more. You cannot recklessly throw hands or go into combos that aren't confirmed. So it adds another layer of no protection. So basically, it's like if you go in there, that's even real life. If you get somebody's back against the wall and you attack them aggressively, ain't no telling what they might do to you, even if you're winning. So, you know, you, you better make sure <laughs> your combos are confirmed. But here's on the other side. If you attempt to tap that rage art and you're getting hit, it also won't it won't cue. If you're getting hit, the rage art will not cue and it'll it'll knock you into a combo. It'll leave you vulnerable. So even if you were clicking that rage art, it's not automatically going to queue up. And if you get hit during it with a power attack, you're losing 15%. So the biggest thing about those rage arts is you do not want to really attack them too aggressive until you get them really low to where one hit to knock them out. And after that, if they attempt to use it, it's insta death. That's how you get around that. What do you think of a breaker mechanic in Tekken 8 like Mortal Kombat? Yeah, maybe if they don't want to if they don't want to reduce the combo length, maybe that would help. I want to halt that right here. Now, this is something I always say, and this has always been my philosophy. If you got a fake ass way to juggle me, I need a fake ass way to get out of it. I've always disagreed with any game that would allow somebody. That's why I didn't like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 because of the freaking infinites. Like, how can you sit here and juggle me with a four hit combo with me floating in the air? And I can't get out of it. How how can you juggle me in such a fake ass way? But there's no fake ass way for me to get out of it. I never agree with endless juggling in the game. I feel like there should be consequence. This is what I'll give Street Fighter. This is what I'll give Street Fighter. How they got that meter and you burn out. I feel like there should like that's what the heat should be used for. Like the same type of way. It should give you a fake way to get out of the combo because that is a huge thing on Tekken juggling somebody for 30 40 50 60 something percent and i don't even show how good you are I, I i am never a fan of juggling games period i'm never a fan of them i cannot stand that fake ass uh mechanic it's it's trash to me because it doesn't prove who's good it proves who got the combo off first and that's one thing that i will say that that is true like a breaker mechanic like in killer instinct or or, or mortal kombat one where or like he's talking about it in this game like there's that's actually the issue there's not enough defensive tools Something that, because there are certain characters that just get frame advantages and they can just fucking mash you the fuck down while you're defending. It'd be nice if there was a mechanic where I could actually push them back. I mean, there's, you do have the parry system, but the parry is like, it's such a tight window. Like, I don't know. Now, I will have to disagree with that with characters and the frame data and all that because you got over 100 moves. A lot of people don't utilize all those moves. You have all those moves to get around certain situations like that. Have I gotten beat where people mash me out? Yeah. But once I get to that, when I start to figure them out, that's when they quit because it doesn't it, it works for so long. But there's always moves that can get around other moves. So honestly, that's more of a skill issue, in my opinion. There's nobody on the game. And now, here's what I'll say. If they take away those auto combos, because people like Jin, they, they have too many auto combos. All that auto stuff needs to be taken off the game. All that. I do an auto and do all this additional damage. No, that that needs to be removed. Meter like rev uh, ex meter. Yeah, fuck Reina. Like rev meter, rev let's make a rev let's arc. let's make a character where half her move set involves her rolling on the fucking ground, and half the kicks are low kicks, and the other half are meet are, are mid kicks, and you don't know which one's being thrown. That shit is scrub as fuck, bro. I don't care what nobody kids. That shit is scrub. It's always their turn. And it literally is like a Marvel vs. Capcom. You will be called. How you feel about Jack? F him too. <laughs> my issue, my issue with Jack is he's a scrub ass character too. Like he, I feel like they should reduce his speed. He's way too fast for somebody who's that big. Like people complain about because I started playing Kuma. Kuma's not that easy to play. He does. Bro, you wild and his fastest frame attack is like twelve frames. 
What are you talking about? Jack is not that fast. If anything, Jack needs to do more damage. He is not that damn fast. Now, see, see, like, remember what I just told you a minute ago about knowing how to use the characters. Jack is one of the slowest characters on the game, if not the slowest character on the game. 16 frames, 19 frames. Yeah, I go that deep. 13 frames. He does not have a whole lot of responses to people's attacks. No, bro. Jack is one of the hardest players to use because all his moves are slow as hell. He, again, you don't have a huge utility. You actually have to play off of counters because if you just go in there swinging at people, you get left vulnerable. And not only that, if a lot of people will frame trap you because if they, if you kick me and if you knock me into a certain stance, I'll automatically do that uppercut down that down hand thing. So they actually can put you into a slow ass attack. You can't respond fast with your come on, bro. You a scrub. Nah. <laughs> you a scrub. If Jack's a problem for you, you're a scrub. Jack, Jack is one of the hardest characters on the game to use. Bar none, hands down. That's why you don't see many of them. That's why you don't see many of them. You know who I have seen though? Every other match? Raina. Raina. I've seen countless Bryans. I matter of fact, I fought five Bryans back to back. You know who else I seen? A whole bunch of gins, whole bunch of Kazuyas, cause they gonna bug me about it. A whole bunch of Kazuyas. I seen a whole bunch of Steves. Not not Paul so much anymore. But my thing is, there's there's very specific characters I've seen over and over again, bro. Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Jack ain't the problem. <laughs>